What's going on guys, it's Time Zone welcoming you back to the next episode of our Super Mario Odyssey Let's Play Blind. We are flying right back uh, to this hut for no discernible reason. Uh, instead, we are going to be going up here. Look at that gigantic moon in the background. Looking absolutely beautiful. This kingdom, every kingdom looks gorgeous in this game. This kingdom is just off the charts awesome. It's uh, I love it so far. And here's a painting right here. I don't really know where this will lead to, obviously, but something. It's something. I guess we can climb this, see what's up top. Uh, is there anything of note up in this house over here? Purples. We saw in the last episode uh, that there are some amazing costumes here that we can check out. And I'm actually wondering what these two are. These two different platform, two different stages. Uh, so that'll be something cool to check out. I think we're gonna be fighting two brutals this time. It's gonna be like an epic brutal showdown with multiple brutals. What is this? What is this? What does this do? Is this what I- this is definitely gonna be what I have to take back to that other, uh, wherever those statues were, right? This is where I have to take those statues? Uh, okay. Can I just- I might just carry this guy, see what's happening, see- see what he's all about. Oh, here. Do I have to put him here? No, that's a coin. That is just a singular coin. Let's move on to here. Actually, you know what? This is way slow, and you guys already know how impatient I am. So I'm gonna leave that guy over there. It's probably for something else, and I think we're gonna jump right into one of two brutal battles right here. And this is Mr. Hat Guy. They're all Mr. and Mrs. Hat Guys and Girls. Oh no, okay, we're fighting her. Okay, last time we saw her was in Wooded Kingdom. Uh, nah. Cascade. Oh, ca which kingdom was she in? Cascade Kingdom, maybe? She was in something. Something or other. Oh, she was in. Uh, she was in Lake Kingdom, right? I think she was in Lake Kingdom. But she has really souped up whatever. Whatever her attacks are. She souped herself up. Unlike Mr. Maylox man, who just spews uh, disgusting purple bile at us. I don't even know what that is. Can I hit these back at her? I forgot, honestly. I already... Oh, there we go. Okay, I have to hit the one right below her. And then she's gonna do this thing. Be all mean to me. Not appreciative of this. Don't throw bombs at me. That's just not cool. Can I... What if I stand here and just wait? No. No, 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 no. Okay, here we go. Smack that right, right back. Smack her hair right back at her. Not something I thought I would be saying, but we're gonna smack her hair back in her face. And then do that. Oh boy, we are speeding through this. We are Speedy McGee. Speedy McGee. Can I, can I hit one of these right back at her? No, I have to wait for the next phase of the battle. This is just a, this is just waiting. Let's just roll around. Rolling around at the speed of round. All right, here we go. Bam! Last one. Last one. Get back here. Get back here, girl. Get back here, girl. I did get a Xenoblade 2, uh, Xenoblade Chronicles 2, rather on launch day, so that was super exciting. I've been playing through that like anything. It has been an amazing game. It's my, I did not play the first Xenoblade, actually, and I was very happy to hear that you did not really need to play the first Xenoblade in order to understand what's happening in this one or be able to play this one comfortably. Uh, as a lot of people have said, the tutorial in that great game is fantastic. Very, very good at not like holding your hand too much, but telling you just enough that you need to know at that t point in time. So it's not overwhelming. Um, I know Disgaea 5 that I bought uh, just as my first kind of tactics RPG game and it's been amazing. There's so much stuff going on in there and it's just like... Even with the tutorials and everything, it just feels so complicated. And I guess that's kind of the charm of it, is that it can be as complicated as you want it to be. But... Xenoblade does a great job of dumbing it down pretty much for the most part. And being able to help you understand what's happening at any given time without being too overwhelming. We have to knock each of these hats. Oh my goodness. This guy has a- Oh! Okay. That's okay. I'm just gonna keep knocking these off. Keep knocking these off. And that's- Wham! I think that's number two. 
This guy's like a magic. This guy's got little magic tricks up his sleeve, yo. Some magic. All right, I'm getting the heart. I'm getting the heart. I'm getting the heart right now. Save that up. Save that up. There's another one. Not bad. I'm okay with this. And just keep. Oh. That's okay. There's so many hats. So many hats. Oh my goodness. Bam. There it is. Not bad. Not bad. We made it. We made it, guys. We made it. Ooh. Destroy that statue. That was a bomb looking statue, though. I liked it. I want one of those for myself. You know, you know what I mean? Get me with my beanie on. Just uh, have this giant scarf on the back and just be like... You know, holding that thing all angry, all angry and such. Very cool. Getting a little jazzy. Getting a little jazzy up in here. Big brutal battle. We done. We out. We done. And now we get the red carpet experience into the rest of this massive kingdom. Holy cow. Showdown of Bowser's Castle. We're about to climb all of this in this episode. About to climb all of this, and I am wearing my Panthers hat because they're playing the Saints today in a pretty big game. Uh, I should try to go watch that, but I do also need to spend a lot of time recording for all you beautiful people out there and getting some of this content out so you can enjoy it during lunch, during breakfast, at the end of the day, at the beginning of the day, during your work hours. Whenever you guys decide to watch this, that's my question of the day for you today. When do you guys watch uh, your favorite YouTube channels? What time of day? What's your mood? What's your mood like? Do you want to just unwind? Do you want to chill? Are you trying to avoid work a little bit? Um, what's your What's your position on that? I would love to know. Would love to know. Okay, this is uh, Mario feels a little heavier than usual to be honest underwater here. But well, we got sunken treasure in the moat, so that's cool. I think that's... Does that make 10 moons for us already? Très bien. Très bien. Very cool. We got more of these guys. I like these birds, actually. This is a cool power-up. IMO. IMO. Very cool power-up. It just reminds me of uh, Kirby's... I've definitely mentioned this, but it reminds me of Kirby's, like... Sometimes he has, like, an electrical sword or something. I've only really played Kirby Crystal Shards, I'll be honest. I'm a big fan of Kirby uh, from that one game alone. I have played snippets of his other games, like his Game Boy Advance games and everything. I don't remember the names, but I thought it was a ton of fun. Really smart, like, design. Just the game, the whole idea. I mean, I know Masahiro Sakurai kind of came up with that character when he was 19. When he was 19 years old, he came up with the idea of Kirby and the design and everything, and that's just a beautiful thing. I was watching a game theory video on... Uh, the lore behind Super Smash Brothers and Sakurai's, uh, how, how it kind of reflects Sakurai's life, because Sakurai, as you know, was the director of Super Smash Brothers, uh, 64, Melee, Brawl, and Super Smash Brothers for, for Wii U and 3DS. And I'm a massive Smash Brothers fan, I'm pretty sure I put in hundreds upon hundreds upon literally hundreds of hours into Melee. Literally as a kid, just coming up with my own stories, my own lore with each of these characters and playing out uh, the story that I had in my head. It was so much fun, guys. It was so much fun. I remember those days very fondly. It was a good time. Can I get this guy to smack? If you guys are curious, I'm happy to tell you what the stories were. I just don't know if it's, uh, if it's weird almost. Oh! made a very poor decision to blow that guy up because I wanted to blow up this rock probably to get a moon but that's not happening so we're just gonna go this way instead see what we got life we don't need that heart oh look at this Captain Toad what's up buddy thanks Broad Captain Broad Okay, but yeah, so getting back to that, like, Mario thing, or not Mario, a uh, Smash thing, apparently Sakurai is just not a fan of sequels, in general. He's not a fan of sequels because he feels that people do not appreciate the original games as much if there is 
definitely sequels coming out because then the question becomes not what's so great about this game, but when is the sequel going to come out and how is the sequel going to differentiate itself from the original? So that's uh, that's an interesting take. I think it's kind of valid. Uh, but I mean, sequels, first of all, on the Nintendo side are going to be making them a ton of money. Sequels on the consumer side are almost a way of showing their fandom and love of the game that, you know, they love the game so much that they want more of it, they want more original stuff. Uh, and it might not necessarily show a love of a director as much, so maybe it's an issue of like, these guys don't appreciate my work, they just want more of this game. But I mean, that's, I feel like you're gonna get that. You're gonna get that because a lot of folks are gonna look at a game and not necessarily look at the director or the production team behind it, as fortunate as that is. And I'm gonna focus on the game itself, and I feel like it's a symbol of appreciation, a token of love if people want a sequel right out the gate. So, but that's just my take on it. That's just my take. I've never developed a game, I've never attempted to develop- Actually, I did attempt to develop a game. I was in a video game camp for a little bit when I was- Whoa, that was cool. When I was, I think in middle school? But that was- that was a ton of fun. Whoops. So that was a ton of fun, and I enjoyed it. Definitely not serious, it was more of like an educational thing. Okay, just gotta climb a bit farther. We're about, we're about there. We're about there. There's a lot of perps. Uh, I'm going to, oh man. Actually, I'm gonna try to grab those. Ooh, okay. Grab. Oh man, this is tough. There we go, there we go. Oh, no. Okay. Okay. You know what? Forget the perps. Forget the perps. I have 27 perps. No, I want the perps. I want the perps, guys. I want them. I want more stuff for my Odyssey because I have not been decorating it as much as I should be. And in my 100% playthrough file where I go back to the kingdoms that I have beaten in the LP, I do not go ahead in those, I promise you. Which is why, I mean, I want this game, I want this LP to be blind, totally. So I do not go through the kingdoms that I have not visited in my main LP, but I do go back to my old ones and discover a lot of what I missed the first time around. Like, a lot, and I miss a ton the first time around. So, um, in that, I have all of the decorations from all of the kingdoms that I've been through so far, and have pretty much gotten all the moons that I would have needed to get uh, before the post-game. Beneath the Keep. This is so epic, guys. This is so epic. The music is epic. Everything is epic. The 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 graphics. This, the freaking name of the moon or the location beneath the keep. This is awesome stuff. What's in here? Nothing. Nada. Oh, maybe I have to climb those to get something. No. Nothing. There's nothing back there. Absolutely nada. So we're good. We're good to move on. Move on to the keep itself. Look at this. There he is, there's Bowser right up there, staring us down! I'm coming for you. I'm coming for you, Bowser. I'm coming for you. But first, before I come for you, I'm gonna see if you got some cool stuff around here. If you got some purple coins that I can easily access. That's, that's what I'm gonna do first. I know that you wanna fight, or maybe you don't, maybe you just wanna go have your wedding in peace, but I'm gonna fight you! After looking around for any potential purples. And I don't see any right here, I don't see any off the edge. So, let's take ourselves, let's take ourselves up here and see what, oh there's Peach right next to him. Oh man, here we go. This is the showdown right here guys, this is the showdown right here and we're about to walk. He's just holding her like a puppy. Oh my goodness, she's so small compared to him. And he just hops back onto the ship. He's taunting us. This guy's mocking us. Look how sad she is. Oh my goodness. Her face. All their. Oh, she covers her ears again because his laugh is so loud. They're so expressive in this game, guys. They're so expressive since the beginning. Poor guy, man. Poor guy. He's just trying to save her. 
It's the love of his life! The love of his life and he just wants to save her. Is that the dragon? Oh my god, the Brutals. Guys, give it a rest. I have to whoop their behinds once again. Whoop them hard. So that's what we're doing. That's how we're gonna. That's how we're gonna end off. We're gonna knock some sense into these boodles that cannot catch. We cannot catch a break from them. They can catch whatever breaks they want. We can't catch a break from these guys. They're being extremely painful. Okay, so we're gonna take this burb and shoot these bombs right back at the mist. There we go, that's one. That'll teach you, yeah, Cappy. Yeah, Cappy, sass him. Sass him hard. Sassafras. There we go. And we have a nice, comfortable- Oh wait, I definitely need to take the bird again, don't I? Don't I? Yeah. Here we go. Yeah, oh, you scared, buddy? You scared? You scared, bro? You scared? Oh, shoot. There we go, there we go. <laughs> I accidentally dove throwing. Uh, I actually dove after throwing my Joy-Con in the air. I throw my Joy-Con in the air sometimes. Go back. TV, TV, TV dubs. TV Wednesday. Throwback Wednesday today, guys. Throwback Wednesday. All right. I need more of these. I need more of these like rock bombs to fly out at me. Okay. Cool. Boom. Boom, two. There we go, that's his one leg. Okay, we don't even need the other one. Do we? Do we need this one? No. You can stay meddled up over there as long as you want, bro. Cause I'm about to come here, whoop some sense into Mr. Goofy. Get out, get up out. Get up out like that, get up out. And I guess we're just repeating this again and again and he's just gonna be a little crazier this time, which is fine. I'm gonna be Sonicking right out of here. I'm gonna be Sonicking all over the place. What are you doing? Just get back to your. Let me beat you, bro. Let me beat you. My goodness. Stalling. You're just stalling with all this nonsense. What are these? What are those? Okay, I don't need these random hula hoops bothering me. Give me burp. Give me burp. Give me burp or give me death, yo. Okay, cool. They're gonna give me both, they're gonna give me both. He's gonna give me burp and he's gonna give me death, so that's fine, that's cool. That's cool, I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die right here. Die right here. I'm not even gonna bother trying to hit those uh, spinny spins. Those hula hoop looking things. They almost look like fireworks, honestly. Roll that that way. Roll this that way. Ah, oh, shoot, we hit two separate legs! We hit two separate legs! So now I have to go through all this again. Okay, we got a heart, we're good. We are now chilling. Ladies and gentlemen, we are now chilling. Pop this, back, get hit, that's all good. Okay, get out of here, Burb, I don't need you. Oh wow, okay, this is a different one. This is a different style right here. Nothing we cannot accomplish, though. Nothing we cannot accomplish. Look at this girl. Didn't I just didn't I just whoop you? Didn't I just whoop you? Have to do it again. Have to do it again. Shake my head. Shake my dang head. Who else? Which one have we not? Oh, we haven't gotten We haven't gotten Maelox? Either Maelox guy or Green Cat Mr. Magician Man. It's one of those two that we haven't gotten yet. And I'm dangerously low on health actually, so this is a little bit freaky. I need Burb. I need Burb ASAP. Burb! There we go, Burb. Come here. Come here, you! Okay, we got more of these. I now know that we can actually knock these hula hoop things back, so I don't need to worry too much about those. Oh my goodness, he's getting close! He's getting close, but not close enough. Oh, come on! Come on! I just need to hit that one leg one more time, that's it, that's all I need! There it is, folks. There it is. That's the end of our run. That is the end of our run. It's over. Game's over. Pack it up. Go home. The end. Okay, we can do this. We are back in phase four of this boss fight right here. So we have two health left. 
and we need to defeat this guy. I hope this phase, I think this phase is going to be the last phase because uh, this is, we still have that one green hat guy left to defeat, uh, to ground pound. So all I need to do is take Burb over here. Let's just wait, whatever, let's just wait. Let's just wait, knock these things out of here. Let us just wait until he can shoot some cannonballs back at us that we're going to use to destroy him. Let's do that. That's one. Oh, of course, hit the wrong legs. But uh, at least next time, we're guaranteed to beat the boss. So all we need to do is survive this stompy, 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 stomp. And then shoot this. Come on. There we go. Oh my goodness. I could not even tell where those cannonballs are going, man. Okay. Here we go, last one. Last one, and we done. We done! Okay. Look at that face of the Brutals. That actually looks like the lady from the beginning of the game. Or from Cascade Kingdom. The lady with the giant gold chomp. But they erupt into some beautiful fireworks. Look at that, four of them. That's, that's awesome. That's really cool. And of course we get the multi-moon. But of course. Here we go. Bam! Just dive into that. Don't know what that was. I don't know what any of that was. I was just happy. I'm happy to be done with that robot. That mech, that Zord, that Power Rangers Mega Zord of like these four guys just combining forces. We're gonna chase after him on the Odyssey. And you know what? That is just what we're gonna do in the next episode. Look at that. We're gonna do that in the next episode. If you guys enjoyed this one, please leave a like and comment below. Subscribe for more of this. Your support means the world to me, and I appreciate any form of it. Uh, I do try to bring two of these videos a day, Mario Odyssey and Shantae, as we're currently going. So uh, hopefully I can catch you guys on the other series as well. In any case, I'll leave you guys off and catch you in the next episode. Bye. Thank <laughs> you.